today I'm going to show you how I made this mechanical Euro rack drum trigger. It has all the off-kilter organic unpredictability of Graham Dunning's mechanical techno rig, but none of the bulk. I'm Michael Forrest, and this is Leaving the Laptop, a series exploring ways to play live electronic music without using a laptop. It's quite simple really, every time the module gets a clock pulse, it rotates the motor a little bit. By using a stepper motor with 96 steps, we make one rotation last one bar. It's possible to buy drivers for this, but I had better luck using an Arduino in this dual full bridge driver thing. So there are four inputs, so we'll connect those to the Arduino, and then we connect outputs to the motor, and then we just kind of power everything from whatever's powering the Arduino. We connect a photoresistor to an analog pin. Now we'll connect up the clock input and the interrupt enabled pin two, and then we connect a trigger output to pin three. Actually, it gets a bit more complicated than that, but that's the idea. There isn't much code. We create constants to remember what pin is connected to what. Uh, this website's a good guide on how to drive a stepper motor. Each combination of driver input values corresponds to a different motor stage, and we just have to drive them in sequence. We attach an interrupt, and then every time the clock goes high, we change the next set in the sequence. Now in the loop, we just read the photoresistor value, and if it's above a certain level, we can set the gate signal high, and this will generally trigger our Eurorack module. To put it together into a module, I'm gonna mount the photoresistor and LED on this little bracket. I got this 24 HP plate, marked up how to mount it all. I'll drill a hole for the motor shaft and then mark out the mounting holes to attach the motor. I've mounted the driver on a little bit of strip board and then glued it to the motor. Now I can just screw everything into place and try it out. I'll put the links to any code or materials in the notes here. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below. I am pushing to do a video every month, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.